Hip Hop's Boogeyman. The Rap Baba Yaga. Kendrick Lamar is out here taking souls and snatching honor. Kendrick dissed J. Cole and then J. Cole apologized. We need to find out why this is such a scary man. And this is a song I haven't reacted to of uh, Mr. Morales and Big Steppers Count Me Out. But right here, why is everybody afraid of Kendrick? Because he's a monster. Kendrick. Let's get right to it. Kendrick. This is the man everybody fears. Just look at his face. He in there writing a hit list. I don't know what he's doing. This man needs to be stopped. I said this on t Twitter. I'll say it again. There has not been some one person in the history of hip-hop that everybody fears as much as Kendrick Lamar. And, and some people were like, what about Eminem? What about Tupac? What about... And I was like, bro, Kendrick Lamar is the only person I know that nobody actually makes disses about. The most they'll do is a subliminal. And I've also never seen Eminem or uh, Tupac get dissed by somebody and then... Like 24 hours later, the niggas apologizing on stage. Talk about, nigga, hit me, I won't hit you back. Nobody. And the biggest Did rappers you hear that, in the Kendrick? world. Um, yes. Um, my apologies. I thought my time was up. No, we can continue if you like. So, what did you say to the... To the lady in the parking structure. You took my damn parking spot. I told her I didn't take, you take your damn parking spot. spot. I'm going to tell you right now. There's rappers who watch this like a horror movie. They over there like, oh my God. Just don't look in my direction, K-Dot. Just don't look in my direction. Nigga, Jay-Z my favorite. But you can't tell me Nas was afraid of that nigga during Ether. You can't say that. Give me one song where somebody came at Kendrick and actually stood on bigness. And the difference is Kendrick goes at the biggest artist in the world. Big Sean, psh, Drake, psh, uh, J. Cole. Psh. J. Electronic apologizing. Lupe apologizing. Ken, uh, J. Cole apologizing. He collected apologies like Infinity Stones. Daddy, Daddy, take your damn parking spot. spot. And how did that make you feel, reacting that way? Somebody's hard to skip the beat decent. watching this, a rapper's. Oh, how come? Because I did take a parking spot. <laughs> 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 <You. No. laughs> this guy got all y'all shook to your boots. Shout out to her, she's a great actress, by the way. You texted me at two o'clock in the morning. I feel like I'm fallen. This thing is a monster. Why do you feel that way? I just dropped a song with Metro Boomin. Yeah, you heard me right. It's streaming everywhere. Right now, I need everybody, well, after this video, I need you to go to the video, I need you to drop a like, and I need you to drop a comment. Let me know you from this video because I want to know where all the real ones really are. And I need you to go to Spotify, iTunes, wherever you stream your music at. I need you to add that to your playlist. I need you to bump that. Life. Drake, it's up to you now. And I do have, I do believe Drake is going to respond. J. Cole just really, really did something I think is going to be the um, leaving Cleveland to go to Miami of his career. I don't think anybody's ever going to forget that. I still go listen to J. Cole and, you know, the last album he dropped, that little EP, Might Delete Later, he was rapping his ass off. Now, the lyrics, a lot of them lyrics age awfully, you know. And on his next album, the next time you say he the best, he the GOAT, can't nobody touch him, he killing niggas. I'm about to be looking at him like, okay. <laughs> Kendrick is snatching souls, bro. And then dropping music like this on you. Terrifying the game. Look at this man. 
This guy when got everybody shook. Make these right with the wrongs I done. That's when you not with the father son till then I fight. Rain on me, put the blame on me. Got guilt, got hurt, got shame on me. Got six Ooh, magazines that's aimed at me. Done every magazine. Blame on me, got guilt, got hurt, got shame on me. Got six magazines that's aimed at me. Done every magazine was fame to me. It's a got six magazines that aimed at me. Got every magazine. Ah, bro. I swear to God, thank I. We are so lucky that there is a Kendrick. Hip hop can't die. Is I, I used to think like Kendrick's the last of a dying breed, and I realized you only need one Kendrick every generation. You're not gonna get one one person who represents hip hop like Kendrick. You're not gonna get another Kendrick because the two other the biggest rappers in the world could all be pop stars as long as there's a nigga who comes in and gets to slap them niggas up. And shaking things up, then there's nothing they can do about it. You see how Kendrick came and snatched the air away from niggas, right? <sighs> lucky, man. Shout out to Kendrick. We are lucky. I, I, I love it. I love it. I'll pr I pray Kendrick got like an EP or something. I hope he's in the studio. Just record like four or five songs real quick. You, you don't even got to put hooks on all of them. Give me about two trio of them with nice hooks. I take verses. You feel me? Just drop some ver. I just want a whole country. Magazines that's aimed at me. Done every magazine was famous. Y'all see them goats, right? Because he's the goat. It's undeniable now. Drake, if Drake responds and does a good response, I'm going to tell you right now, them two are going to be the main characters of, of this generation of hip hop. When the story is told, Kendrick Lamar and Drake are going to be the main characters. If Drake don't respond, it's going to be Kendrick Lamar. Simple as that. Nobody's going to top him of those three. Magazines that's aimed at me, done every magazine was fame to me. It's a game Fuck, to me man. with a bedroom mat. Sleep, I ain't never had a fast with that. What's fair when the hearts and the words don't reach? What's fair when the money don't take these back? It's rare when somebody take your dreams back. I care too much, want to share too much in my head too much. I shut down too, I ain't there too much. I'm a complex soul, they layer me up, then broke me down. The morality's dust, I lack in trust. This time around, I trust myself. Please, everybody else but myself. All else fails, I was myself. Out done fear, out done myself. Kendrick is really goaded. I'm just glad that he's my favorite. He's my goat. You know. Cole, Cole good. I've always been a Cole fan. Cole world. You know. I've been a Cole fan. But he ain't my goat. He ain't my goat. My goats are Kendrick, Jay, and Wayne. Those are my goats. Them niggas have not let me down yet. You feel me? On some hip hop tip. <laughs> Some of y'all was hating on Mr. Morales and the Big Steppers. I remember. I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to be quiet. But some of y'all, I mean, go back and watch my reaction. I was digging it. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> some of y'all was hating on it. Now, all of a sudden, niggas want to come back. No, stay over there. Stay over there. I also heard Kendrick might have a nuclear bomb ready for Drake and J. Cole. If he disses J. Cole again, then J. Cole just erased. <laughs> All else fails, I was myself. Out done fear, I done myself. This year you better win yourself. Mass on the babies, mass on the hot mass in the neighborhood stores you shop, but a mask won't hide who you are inside. Look around the realities carved in lies. My ego dodge my pride. Look myself in the mirror. Emily feel ain't seen nothing scarier. I fought like a pit bull terrier. Blood I shed could fill up aquariums. I fought like a pit bull terrier. Blood I shed could fit in aquariums. <laughs> Kendrick will give, he gives you everything. He gives you the introspective raps. He gives you the battle raps. He gives you the straight bar punchline after punchline, Lil Wayne type raps. He sells records. He's got hit records. He got the ability to jump on your track, drop a verse. Come on, bro. Like that Future and, and Metro did their thing, but it's a number one verse. It's a number one song because all of them came together. Let's just keep it real. He'll come through, drop one verse, and the culture will shift. Nigga, control. The hard part four. I like that. Nigga, he drops cultural shifting verses, bro. The one, there's one thing that I think Drake and J. Cole don't have. They got important songs and, and songs that are classic. But they don't have 16 bars at a time that molds and shifts and change the culture. Kendrick does. Classic verses that will go down in the pantheon of hip-hop. 
carrier, blood I shed Could fill up aquariums, tell all my angels carry them Every emotion been deprived, even my strong points couldn't survive If I didn't learn to love myself, forgive myself a hundred times, dog. I love when you count me out, I love when you count me out Don't count him out! Count me. I love when you count me out, Can't I love you. when you count me out I love Canada. when you count me Go! Of course he needs therapy. After all these bodies he be catching? Of course he needs therapy. I'm sure when he closes his eyes, he just sees visions of Jay Electronica and got the <laughs> All these ghosts, all these homicides he's caught. Nigga needs time. That Mr. Morales was him decompressing it, bro. I got so much goddamn blood on my hands. I need to go get right with myself. <laughs> you feel me? The music video is legendary, bro. Hip-hop's about the yaga. You know what's the craziest thing too is if you realize how hip hop works, when you go back, when people tell the story, when I mean that Kendrick Lamar will be the main character, Drake, uh, Cole, and let's see how Drake responds to, they're going to be characters too, but the main character, okay, so for, because people be like, well, Drake and sells all these records, which is great, and he will be told, he will be a part of the hip hop legacy, but I'll put it like this. You realize how when you look back, people talk about Big Al? When you tell the story of the early 2000s, late 90s rap, Big L is a part of it. You think he sold that many records? Absolutely not. You think he sold more records? We talk about Big L more than we talk about people who were out that time who were selling more records than Big L. There's a lot of one-hit wonders we don't talk about. It's not about album, album sales. Is the least important metric when it comes to your legacy, believe it or not. Niggas, niggas don't have that. Facts. But when the, people talk about Prince versus Michael Jackson... I just don't talk about the album sales because Michael Jackson would win every time. That's why I say to people like Drake and Cole, be careful. Your story is still being told, bro. Don't think your spot is already solidified. That's what a nigga like Ja Rule think, thought. Then 50 Cent came through, and then now when you tell the story of Ja Rule, it's damn near like a meme. Stay wise. Drake, I'm ready for you. Drop that, man. We out here.